if it's a sample, meaning it's actually a thing from the original song, it's a vocal, it's instrumental, it's the guitar loop, there's something in your version that is from that actual song that's called a sample, you can't do that and you might get a strike. How to legally do cover songs. I'm an independent artist, I'm a record label owner, I'm an entertainment attorney, and I help people to build their music businesses. If that sounds good to you, please be sure to like this video, subscribe, let's jump into it. Cover songs are fantastic ways to market yourself, okay? Think about it. The way that this is working is we are giving someone something they already like, and then we're giving them an opportunity to hear your voice, your style, your production, to get to know you. So it's a very nice kind of soft way to get in their ear and they'll be like, oh my gosh, her voice is great. Oh my gosh, his, you know, scream is great. I love this. And then they'll dive in a little bit deeper. What can happen with original music is that now you have to sell them on you as well as the thing, right? The song, the composition, all the stuff. So that's why cover songs are a really good marketing tool, helps you to build an audience. And so it's something that I have incorporated into my music career. I do it a lot and I know a lot of people do it as well. So that's why we're doing this video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about getting the music on YouTube and DSPs, which are the music platforms, okay? DSP is digital service provider like Spotify. So um, wherever you're watching this, the, you know, the, the information basically in the video is practical. How do we do it? But some of the stuff I do mention is subject to US copyright law. You still want to know all the stuff because this is how it works, like regardless of where you're at, okay? How it works for YouTube. You post the video to YouTube, okay? And you might be someone who just did a quick song in your bedroom or you just did an acapella. Whatever your version of the cover song is, you do a video, you post it. You're going to get an email from YouTube saying, hey, this label, this publishing company is monetizing your video, okay? That's usually all it is. Usually they're not getting strikes anymore, and I'll explain why. But what that means is that the label or the publishing company is going to collect your money, okay? So sad face, you're not going to make money on the video, but you're also using someone else's song technically without permission, right? So if it's a cover, usually, like I said, there's no problem. They're collecting. That's it. Now, if you sampled, that's where this gets really hairy and everyone should run out of the building that's on fire. If it's a sample, meaning it's actually a thing from the original song, it's a vocal, it's instrumental, it's the guitar loop, there's something in your version that is from that actual song that's called a sample, you can't do that and you might get a strike, okay? It's a real no-no. You might get a block, you might get all kinds of bad things happening. I talk about the differences of sampling on the channel, do some searches, you'll find some good stuff. So that's getting it on YouTube. When it comes to getting it on music platforms, we're going to register an account with a DIY music distribution company. It's gonna be Len, the ones I talk about a lot on the channel are CD Baby, TuneCore, DistroKid, um, and I've done you know collabs and worked with a lot of these companies as an artist myself. Those are ones that are great. Um, but in any case, the way it used to be, you get a mechanical license, right? So it's like an automatic license that allows us to do cover songs. We used to get them through Harry Fox Agency, through Easy Song licensing. And basically, if you went to a music distributor, often the music distributor would say, hey, you're doing a cover song. I need your mechanical license in order to distribute the song to all the music platforms. Things have changed. It's easier. Keep watching. So now what's happened is there's a there's an organization called the Mechanical Licensing Collective since January of 2021. This company basically is like making it rain with administrative blanket licensing with all of the platforms like Spotify, right? All the DSPs. And so basically they have a deal where they're like, we're going to have the deal with you platform to make sure that the publishers, the songwriters who made the actual songs that you're you know covering to make sure that they get paid because we're finding that people aren't getting the mechanical licenses and we need to make sure everyone gets paid. So, you know, quick uh, pro notes, if you are a songwriter and people using your songs, you gotta make sure you're registered on the mechanical licensing collective because that's how you get paid. But in any case, for the people making the cover songs, you don't need a mechanical license anymore, yay. It just got a whole lot easier for us. The only exception is gonna be if you're still making things like CDs or vinyls, Okay, it's not covered. You still got to get the license for that. For 99.9% .9 of you, you're just releasing digitally. 
So it's already kind of done for you. Yay. Now, what about the video components you ask? You didn't ask that, but you need to know this. So going back to the YouTube, you just upload it. It's a pretty easy process. No real problems are going to come up typically, but it's only because labels and publishers have deals with YouTube so that they collect your money. Because technically what you're supposed to do is to not only get the mechanical license, but you have to get what's called a synchronization license. So it says you got to take the song and you got to sync it to the video, which means you now need to get extra permission. And since no one's actually doing that and it's easier for these companies to come and just collect your money, right? Because you're promoting their songs. That's what they've done. But you are technically supposed to be getting the sync licenses. Now, because most of the world... <laughs> to promote their cover songs, to promote their music, are uploading these videos to YouTube. The fact that those agreements are in place is a great thing. It's gonna help you stay protected so you're not gonna get sued because quite frankly, you know, a lot of these labels aren't gonna sue you because it's gonna cost the label $50,000 to sue you and then they're not gonna be able to collect because, you know, we're starving artists and we can't pay, right? So if you wanna learn how to basically do all this stuff yourself to be your own label, right? I have a course, I'll help you out. I'll teach you how to become your own label. Link down in the description below.